hey everyone how is going my name is Bukhari and in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a fully responsive rock solid two column grid layout pattern using CSS technology called flexbox let's get started so this is my code editor right okay so let's inject some HTML structure there it is let's bring the preview window in here let's remove these all the script tags we don't need it at all okay let's give the page a title flexbox grid layout pattern 2 right and it is going to be two column grid layout pattern all right let's save the file on the desktop in the our flexbox 2016 folder where we already have two flexbox files one is the flexbox grid system and other one is flexbox grid layout pattern one and this is going to be flexbox grid layout pattern two flexbox making sure that i'm writing it properly not making any spelling mistakes typos flexbox grid layout pattern 2 flex box grid layout pattern 2 okay let's save it all right we just save the file all right moving on so um let's get cracking the code right why not so um let's put some common block in there let's bring this text in there that is the title and we're gonna have a subtitle okay and so it is going to be two column flexbox grid layout all right let's set the file one more time so let's get a start with the grid engine flexbox grid engine which is the selector is going to be called a row and this this is the parent so basically flexbox works in two levels uh, which has a parent and child relationships so the row selector is going to be the parent of the grid engine right so we're gonna have a display property and value is going to be flex and also i'm gonna add a another flexbox property called flex flow because i want to add multiple values in there and i'm gonna add a column flexbox flow column and wrap all right so that's that for the parent engine tag for the flexbox grid system and then the column selector which is the child of the row and this property will have some property i mean this selector will have some property and value so the first value will be flex and it will be one that means that flex grow one flex shrink one it also means that it is 100 percent Okay, it is by default fluid responsive responsible flexible everything all that you can imagine that's the power of flexbox right and with that i'm gonna add a margin and this margin is important so i'm gonna add a value in there 6 em around 6 em and this margin is going to separate your columns from each other right okay moving on so i'm gonna add a, another property called padding and i'm gonna also add a value in there and this padding will um make some space in between in between the text in there what we put in there right so and that's that so i'm gonna add a color quickly white and also i'm gonna add a background color as well and i'm gonna grab a color quickly and just did and copy it and paste it right let's set the file one more time so our grid engine is ready can you imagine that unbelievable so okay now that we have done it let's add some html goodies in there in the body so that we can see so first i'm not going to directly inject the row and columns i'm gonna add i'm gonna make a reasonable logical useful um, grid pattern in here okay so i'm gonna add a div, div with a class name called wrapper so and in here within the wrapper we're gonna put everything okay so within the wrapper i'm gonna add a header tag and within the header i'm gonna add the row 
and within the row I'm gonna add the column okay and I'm gonna write the text that this is header right as you can see so and just after that I'm gonna have a main tag by the way these are header main aside footer all these are HTML5 tags right so I hope you get the idea so within here I'm gonna have another row tag with a div tag with a class name called row and within there within row I'm gonna have a column tag in there I'm gonna add a text in there main so that we know what which is what right so I'm also gonna add a I'm gonna add another column in there in the main tag right I'm also going to change the text so it is going to be aside right so it is sitting in on top of each other because I set flex flow to column right or, or flex direction to column okay so that's why it is sitting on top of each other if we set if we put row it would be sitting next to each other right so for by default I want to I want this to act like this okay moving on let's finish up the HTML then we'll talk in the CSS right moving on so just after the main I'm gonna add a div uh, footer footer class footer div and within the here I'm gonna add the row and within the row I'm gonna add the column right also put the text in there so that we can see let's save the file one more time so our HTML structure is complete all right so this is by default fully responsive and by default we want this structure okay stacking on top of each other all the column will be stacking on top of each other this is how we want it so basically we want this uh, layout pattern in the mobile and when we are in the tablet or in the desktop view we want a different layout pattern so let's do that right let's bump up the font so that you can see even better I should have done it early all right let's move on so let's add a media query add media screen and CR and screen and mean width is going to be 768 pixels what it means is that from maximum to 768 pixels okay so I want to have different kind of layer pattern within this uh, pixel range right and just after that I'm gonna have a curl brackets and in there I want to have my row selector there and this row selector will have uh, a property called flexbox property called flex flow and because we put um, flex column wrap in the default one in here in the this in this media query I'm gonna have a row and wrap just as simple as that okay so it is almost done right as you can see you can see the um, two columns are sitting next to each other and when we are in the mobile we put size we have this stacking order beautiful so our work is 90 percent done and when we are in the large or the tablet viewport size we have this um, uh, row structure okay so we have two columns so they will be sitting next to each other like so half divided by half right okay moving on but what I want is that when we we are in the tablet or in the desktop I want to have um, my main column to grow this far and my side column grow to this far around 360 300 pixels so how I'm going to do it so so these are in the main section right main tag right so I'm, spe I'm going to specifically target that so main and then column and then nth child which is going to be one right so the first column I'm going to I'm going to I'm, I'm targeting right so I'm going to target the first column within the main tag right so this is main and then space then column and child one and this um, column will have a property called um, flex as simple as that I'm gonna put a number like two and it's gonna do the job 
as you can see so it is going to be expanding like 2 right you can also add 2.5 and 3 whatever you like so I'm gonna add 2 it looks okay let's set the file so our grid engine is ready so in the mobile we have this stacking order grid layout pattern and in the when we are when we are, our page is in the mobile tablet viewport size we have this order and maximum to um, in the large desktop view we have also this order this is exactly what we wanted in this tutorial in this project right this is also a very popular grid layout pattern two column layout pattern so as you can see it is as simple as that only required two lines of media query code flexbox code and that's it this is how powerful it is so um, I want to take it further I want what I want is that I want my footer of the page to always stick to the bottom so how I'm going to do that right so just after the media query I'm gonna target this wrapper let's grab the text from there okay and I'm gonna give this wrapper some properties and values okay so display flex and then flex flow is going to be column and also wrap all right and then um, we also need to have a menu height and it is going to be 100 percent 100 viewport height okay so that's for the wrapper it won't do anything until we put another selector and some value in there okay so so we're gonna target this main right so that's main directly because that's the that's a html5 tag name no need to add some dot on hashtag in there because there are no classes in there so main and we're gonna just put the flex one and that's it let's save the file so only for these four lines of properties and value we, we're gonna have we are having a sticky footer forever how cool is that this is really amazing flexbox is insane it is really really crazy and so powerful unbelievable don't you guys love it i am all into this come on if you are in the web development industry please do master get your hands dirty in flexbox come on you can do amazing things so much less with so much so much less code come on can you believe that unbelievable so we have our two um two levels two column grid layout pattern so column layout pattern one column layout pattern two that's it beautiful and we have also have the uh, sticky footer forever unbelievable so as you can see we have only two media query lines and four um, additional uh, flexbox properties and value for the um, stick footer right so this is how easy it is how quick it is how, how simple it is unbelievable seriously so awesome anyways so this video is about it now within few minutes we just created a two column grid layout pattern fully responsive ones by default using flexbox so powerful so cool anyways i hope you are highly benefited from this tutorial if you are please i will really appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up and do write to me what is your experience with this tutorial and please do share with the world because you will, ne you will never know who you will inspire and help so please do share sharing is very important so and i also appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and do give this video a thumbs up would be so awesome thank you so much anyways let's put some um, text in there very quickly in the main so lorem let's set the file yeah there we go so when we are in the mobile we have this order when we are in the tablet and the large view we have this order so that's it and it will never 
disappoint you flexbox will never disappoint you if you know how to manipulate columns and grids using flexbox properties and values this is so raw power as you can see so thank you so much for being here thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for all of his support and love i do really appreciate that i'm really grateful for everything so i'll catch you in my next video thank you for your time take care bye